Initial results of Ebola vaccine known as VSV above indicate an efficacy of 100% in protecting people against Ebola with minimal side effects. The results which have been released by the World Health Organization are from a clinical trial started in Guinea in March this year to test the safety, efficacy and capacity substance to provoke an immune response of the vaccine. The trial was implemented by Guinea and supported by a broad partnership of international and national organizations. MSF Medical Director Dr. Bertrand Draguet says the preliminary results of the VSV of Ebola vaccine are encouraging, but cautions that more analysis and research is needed. VOA's Carol Pearson recently interviewed Norwegian researcher Joan Rottenen about the vaccine. Of course, no vaccines, if you really test them on, on thousands or millions of individuals, they will not necessarily be 100% effective. But we should, of course, say that this is the signal we get and the data we get from the interim results so far is that this vaccine is fully protective. So based on the number of individuals and cases we see, uh, there is 100% protection in those vaccinated. Joining us in the studio is VOA's Carol Pearson, who has been following the story closely. Carol, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you. So you spoke to the Norwegian researcher. What else did he tell you in terms of the efficacy of this vaccine? Well, he, as you heard, he just said it was 100% effective. Mm -hmm. The Lancet article says it's 75%, but there's a huge variation. 10,000 people have gotten this vaccine so far, not just in Africa, but they first had to make sure that it was absolutely safe. You don't want to give a vaccine to somebody that will make them sick. So they tried it out in the United States, in Europe, uh, and then when they, they had a major trial in Liberia, after they found out that it was safe and they were able to figure out what dose was the most effective and safest dose to give. So we are hearing minimum side effects uh, to no side effect. Tell us yes. about that. In, in one of the trials, before it was released, were given to a number of people, there was some joint pain or something like that, and they decided to reduce the amount of the vaccine or the, the, you know, the action agent in the vaccine, mm -hmm. and that reduced the side effects. So they have been giving this now. They, they, um, the Public Health Norway looked at Guinea, the U.S. National Institutes of Health was working in Liberia. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Protection was working in Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. And nobody was working in Guinea. So that's why the Norwegian Public Health Organization decided this is where we're going to go. And the, the trials were conducted with volunteers. Now, yes. uh, when will it be available? Do we have a time frame in terms of the process before we get to its release? There is still no licensed vaccine, but because this is so effective and licensing takes time, mm -hmm. you have to go through all these processes. So instead of doing that, what they're going to do is continue the study until there are no more cases of Ebola in West Africa. Now this vaccine quickly, we know that there are four strains of the Ebola. What, what strain does this one cover? Zaire, the, the Zaire, Zaire strain. strain. Okay. And that is a very deadly strain, as we know from yes. watching this outbreak. Absolutely. Carol, thank you so much for joining us today. And that was VOA's Carol Pearson joining us. More on Ebola, it's been one year since Sierra Leone declared the Ebola virus a national emergency. In September 2014, the United Nations created a temporary system to meet the immediate needs in the fight against the deadly virus, which has killed more than 11,000 people across West Africa. It was known as UNMIR, or the United Nations Mission for the Ebola Emergency Response. But now the response team is winding down in Sierra Leone amid concerns about a cluster of possible new cases. The World Health Organization will, however, take over UNMIR's role to ensure the fight against Ebola does not lose momentum.